Everything I've ever done has been building up to this one moment. Because today, today we play artillery only. Yes, that's long last. It's been a long time, a very, very long time. And today, we finally, we finally do it. Because yeah, I technically promised to do this for my 20,000 subscriber special, and I'm, I'm getting to it just slightly late. But yes, this will be a more interesting version of artillery only, because who likes artillery only when all you do is do something extremely hard and then you laugh about how stupid it is? No, 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 you have to do something that it's extremely hard to laugh about how stupid it is and have a fun, interesting a series of leaders and events to accompany you along the way. That makes it uh, all the best. But yes, yes, let's let's get into it. For today, the world will never be the same. Anyways, for the innocent who do not know the nature of artillery only, here is a brief explanation of what, of what you're getting into. The basic premise of artillery only is that in these slots, your basic combat slots, you can only have artillery, which you may think, artillery, it, it's pretty powerful, it blows stuff up, and yeah, it is pretty powerful in terms of soft attack, but in terms of organization, it's very, very, very lacking. And by very lacking, I mean it really doesn't doesn't have any organization. See, if we have a, a unit with only artillery, it has zero organization. That means the second it's attacked, it will literally retreat or most likely get overrun. So, you know, it, it doesn't really work. But how do we get around this, you may ask? How? How do we overcome such a great feat? Well, the only way to really do it is to research all the support companies, or at least five, and then use some amazing technology called Integrated Support, which gives all support companies plus 10 organization. So then you can make your fancy artillery divisions and just put a whole bunch of support companies on it, and then each support company will give a decent amount of organization. Like, they already give some, but 5 org isn't enough to do anything. Regular infantry has 50.9 org, so 5 org doesn't really matter. But even with this, it is still pretty much impossible to win. And the game has changed a lot since the last artillery only game I've seen. And we can't use non-artillery only units in battle, but we can still make non-artillery units just to complete our focuses like Anschluss and Demand Sudetenland, which require a certain amount of manpower in the field, which is almost impossible to achieve with just manufacturing artillery divisions. At least it's really difficult. Oh yes, and let's send some of our first artillery divisions to nationalist Spain so you can all see how absolutely terrible these divisions are. Well, these are admittedly the artillery divisions without any organization, so I don't really think they can actually do anything. Yeah, obviously we're not allowed to actually attack with zero orgs, so yeah, we'll get those. We'll get a support company in there soon. Yeah. There, now they have 6.6 .6 organization with their one Recon company. Huh, this is this is great. Yeah. Also, I forgot to set historical focuses on so things are only going to be more interesting and artillery divisions are so bad that even with help from all these Spanish units, we still can't beat this one encircled guy. Oh look, we're kind of doing decently kind of in this battle here. Look at that. I was about to say these artillery divisions aren't so bad, but now they all disappeared. I think they got overrun or their HP hit zero or something. Not so good. I'm just gonna leave the Spanish Civil War. I, I don't know what happened there, but I assume we're gonna get a lot more of divisions randomly disappearing. That's what usually happens when you have very low org. Also, we'll be getting artillery two. We probably won't be going for RD3, because if you go from artillery one to artillery two, you get a 50% increase in defense, which I guess, you know, we can't really afford to ever be on the defensive, but at least it's something. But if you go from artillery 2 to artillery 3, you only go from 15 to 18, which isn't really much. Uh, sometimes I hate historical focuses. Lithuania refused to cede Memel, and us and Poland both have a war goal against them. I guess, if anything, this is a good chance to test out the artillery and see if it can actually functionally do something. But yeah, now we'll invade Lithuania. Oh, and Poland invaded them, of course. Oh, 
Oh no, and that war against Lithuania made us do the MIFO payments. That's, that's not good. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna justify against Poland because I'm angry. And uh, Czechoslovakia denied the Sudetenland and is guaranteed by France. So I guess there's never gonna be a better time to test out these very, very good six with 18 org divisions. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure this is gonna go great. All of our units um, have disintegrated. Ah, yes. Yes, this is, this is perfect. Okay, so this time, um, I, I'm on historical focuses just to make it a little more predictable because if we're on a historical, like, the game could just win it for us or that, that, that last thing could happen where Lithuania denies Memel and then we get the MIFO repayments, which is not ideal. Also, I like how our country name just goes over Czechoslovakia. It's some great foreshadowing that Toy 4 doesn't have enough of, honestly. Also, this time around, we're just going to include one artillery in every division. I think that's the ideal way to do it, maybe. That's, that's pretty decent, honestly. 17.5 org and 69.3 three soft attack? That's not too bad. Kind of looks like a regular infantry division, except with a lot less defense. And HP. Yeah, HP is the real issue. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is going to be much better. Trust me. We, we have everything worked out now. We have a lot of these divisions. I guess now I'm, that I'm declaring war, I have to delete those guys, but yeah. And we were overrun again. Uh, uh, I, I didn't want to resort to this, but now we're going to have to manually do everything. Uh, I thought I could get away with battle planning, but no. Capitulated too in December, which is good. It, that that's acceptable for artillery only. I, I think maybe I, I don't know. And artillery triumphs in Poland after their defeat in the First World War. Germany has collectivized as a society of artillery. The great Doctor Inovarty, previously lost to time, has turned this nation into something unrecognizable and has finally led them to their first victory. The other major powers called their methods insane and impossible, but today they were proven wrong. Warsaw has fallen, not to tanks, not to men, but to iron and steel in its purest form. Ah yes, yes, a great, a great victory. Now time though to invade the Netherlands. This should be easy, we have our artillery concentrated in massive numbers. Of course they're all three widths, but still, still good, yeah. Wait, do we have to use artillery for garrisons? Oh. Oh yeah, artillery actually doesn't have suppression, so it won't even let us do that. That's what I like to see. Oh, that's that's perfect. Okay, now this is going to be the most interesting maneuver. I don't know if this is going to be extremely hard or extremely easy. All we have to do is take Calais and Paris. That's our goal now. Usually you would do this with light tanks or medium tanks that are really fast and they can win almost any battle or something, but I don't know how this is gonna go with artillery. Okay, well, that went very well for a second. Yeah, and then not so well, and now our army is pretty much gone. Yeah, we might need a few more artillery divisions um, if we want to do something like that. Okay, this time we're gonna do it with an extra 86 artillery divisions here. Yeah. Should work out well, I think. We'll use half of them to invade France, and then the other half we'll use to invade Belgium. Uh, okay, well, um, that was, that was close, kind of, yeah. Okay, this time we're, we have a new strategy. So we have these four army groups and they will stick together no matter what. I'm not gonna spread my line thin this time. So there's just gonna be these giant pseudo tanks that are just giant groups of artillery that I'm not gonna separate under any circumstance. So we'll see, we'll see if this works. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was pretty close there. Okay, it's time for sea line. We finally got, um, naval supremacy. I, I, I really don't know how a naval invasion with only artillery units is going to work. I assume it's gonna be pretty bad though. Oh, it looks like they don't have any divisions on the port. I guess the Americans do, but that's not really worthwhile. 
Guess the Americans are just defending Britain, even though they're not in the same faction or anything. And here it is. Here it is. Oh, this is the best peace deal ever. Oh, a peace deal achieved with artillery only. Better than Germany did in real life, and only with artillery. <laughs> Admittedly, our allies who didn't just have artillery took Yugoslavia, but we took all of Poland, France, and the UK by ourselves without any help from them except some Italian divisions defending ports for no reason. And yes, artillery uh, triumphant, Oswald Mosley placed on his rightful throne, well, placed as the prime minister with the king on the throne, I would assume. Italy got a lot of stuff, honestly, probably because they had actual divisions and got a lot of war score. Oh no. Oh no, guys, this might be the end for us. The Soviet Union is doing war with Germany. And all, almost all of our divisions were um, overrun in that last war. So if we have to fight a defensive war against the Soviets, guys, I'm I'm not liking our odds here. I, I have a really important question. Does artillery only ban the use of nukes? Nukes are just artillery from the heavens, yes. And Japan has a war goal against us, but they're a little preoccupied with the allies. Well, the remaining allies. And the Soviets are too scared to declare on us, which is very good. Okay, and we could just wait around for nukes, but um, that's gonna take a long time, and I really don't wanna just sit here here for two more years in game, or probably more than that, just to get nukes to make this extremely easy. So I think we will just declare. We have a lot of divisions, as you can see, but well, keep in mind that I have a lot of these divisions, but this this is the division. It's a three width. So let's see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be extremely easy. <laughs> We're starting off with 754 divisions. Wait, we have infantry templates? Where? Yeah, our puppets keep giving us new stuff. Oh look, and I think we're going to encircle the Soviets with just artillery. How embarrassing. Honestly though, we have lost a lot compared to them, but if we can close up this encirclement here, we could probably win the war, I, I would think. Or if we just called our allies in, but that would obviously be cheating. Oh no, this is gonna be our downfall. The Soviet Union is actually attacking into us. Even though they're losing all these battles, these guys are gonna run out of HP, I believe. We're already down to 364 and yep um this this is unfortunately i think the end we've hit 150 divisions yeah i tried falling back but you can't you can't be on the defensive with this i forgot the teachings of the great artillery masters that you can never defend you only attack i was i was a fool I was a fool to think i knew better than them and i think that with that goes the rest of our divisions ah uh, what a shame what a shame. Now we have to renounce our name and call in all of our allies to save us. Yeah, what a shame. But yes, I, I'm happy I finally got a chance to experience what this was like. It's kind of terrible. Uh, it was interesting doing it this way too, because I technically could have used the spy agency to cheese a lot of stuff. I could also have done what ISP did in his original video and not just ban having any allies because they don't have artillery units. But I don't know, I feel like that kind of breaks the spirit of artillery only a little bit. So. I could have easily cheesed the entire game just by using puppet states and using their divisions, but yeah. I don't know, this was still fun, even if I lost in the end. And I could have kept going, but I kind of want to actually get this video out and not keep waiting four or five days between every video release. So yeah, well, well, I'll, I'll do part two for 200,000 subs, okay? Yeah. Or what was ISP's original goal? 300k? Yes, uh, if I ever hit that, I will continue artillery only. Only if I hit that though. Oh, that's the only way I'll ever do this again. Yeah. <laughs>